With the release of Inventor 2013, Autodesk uh, introduced a new material system for Inventor. Um, they they changed colours to uh, something called appearances and created an entirely new library format. No longer was it part of the s styles um, like the rest of Inventor works. Um, with the aim of standardising the material libraries across the Autodesk product range. Um, now, a lot of people hated it, it was bug ridden, um, they really didn't work for us either, but, you know, they've they've come, come 2014, they've made a huge amount of changes, they've listened a lot to the customers, um, and taken on all the feedback, and in my opinion they've drastically improved it, now there's still room for improvement, obviously, but now it is usable, um, and I can't wait to put uh, Inventor 2014 into production in my design office. So one of the things I want to show you here is how to correctly create a new library uh, in 2014. Um, the ADSK library files um, Autodesk have created have unique IDs so if you copy the file and then rename it it may have a different file name but with regards to Inventor um, they're, two, they're still the same files if they're loaded at the same time uh, by inventor then you'll get uh, you get errors so that the best thing to do is have uh, either only use one library um, or have a base library that you can then copy the materials from into a new library that you've created uh, in much the same way as you used to with uh, styles with the styles manager in previous releases <coughs> pre-2013 that is okay so I've, I've just created a project um, and an empty file at the moment. This project is um, all standard with regards to materials and appearances. Um, and just go ahead and create a new library. So <coughs> you click on the material browser button, then come down to the bottom left hand corner and click on create library. Um, then choose the location where you want to, to save your file. Give it a name, and there you have it. You brand new empty library nothing in it now it's only um, temporarily loaded uh, in inventor at this at this point um, so we have to add it to the project later but for now um, as you can see this new dialogue is much nicer than it is was in 2013 um, you can jump backwards and forwards browse to and from libraries and um, but one of the key differences now is you can actually drag and drop highlighting, deselecting, and drag and drop the materials straight to another library. And now you see all of the new files, are, all of the new materials are now in this library. Um, Inventors locked the material library for editing for other users. I have to click on this to release it so that they can then edit it if they need to. It's still recommended that once you've made these changes that you close and open Inventor again, certainly for um, other computers to be able to see those changes that you've made. Um, and in the same way that you can move the materials, drag and drop the materials from one library to the next, you can do the same thing from um, from the document to <coughs> to the library as well and you can see that the text uh, is italicized and in bold to show that the uh, the document material is applied that this document material differs from the active library material so I'll just drag and drop that one in here and replace it Okay, now the next step after this is to set the library in your project file. So to close this off, save that, jump into the projects and now we can add add the library file we created just before. To both the appearance and the material library.
And once we've done that, we can set that as the active library and remove any of these libraries if we want to. I generally keep these Autodesk libraries loaded so that I can use some of the materials in there. And if but if I can use the material or the appearances in there, I um, apply them to my custom materials, um, and hopefully then these Autodesk materials that then work in programs like 3ds Max and showcase. Um, Properly, without with very little changes to, that need to be made, will need to be made. So I'll save that off now, and we'll open that file back up. But before I do that, I'm going to close Inventor and open it again to make sure that the project has loaded the library correctly. Okay. So now we can see that the default material library loaded is the Illusion one that I created and this is all of the materials that are in that library. And the same goes for the appearances. If you want to switch to the Autodesk library, you can just jump in here and now all of those materials are listed. And at the moment, <coughs> um, yeah, so there's some favourites here. You can add to the favourites in the same way as you can any other library just drag and drop from there to the favourites which is great if you uh, if you're working on a on a project and there's only three or four materials or appearances that you're using and now you can see that these materials the material I just added is now in this list alright well anyway I hope you, I hope you found that helpful um, and enjoy the rest of your day